Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm looking at cattle. Brahmin bull. The Brahmin has a humped back, long drooping ears and loose skin. Like the camel, the Brahmin stores food and water in the odd looking hump on its back. The hump is a deposit of fat. Hinduism is a religion that raises the status of mother to the level of goddess. Therefore, the cow is considered a sacred animal as it provides us life-sustaining milk. The cow is seen as a maternal figure, a caretaker of her people. Scottish Highland cattle are an ancient Celtic breed first documented in 1884. The bulls can weigh up to a massive 800 kilograms and the cows up to 500 kilograms. They use their horns to dig through thick snow to find vegetation that lies underneath and to defend themselves from predators and other rival highland cattle. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Ongol cow is indigenous to India. The bull is one of the heaviest breeds, weighing about half a ton, up to 1.7 meters in height, and a body length of 1.6 meters. The Charolais is a French breed of Taurin beef cattle. It is one of the heaviest cattle breeds with bulls weighing up to 1,650 kilograms. Both sexes may be horned. If you find yourself in a field of suddenly weary cattle, then let go of your dog's lead and let it run free rather than try to protect it and endanger yourself. The dog will outrun the cows and it will also outrun you. If you don't have a dog, just keep calm, do not panic and make no sudden noises and move away. The Brahmin cows are the sacred breed of India and are very hardy and adaptable to a wide range of feed and climate. They have excess skin on the neck, throat and underbelly. Their dark skin is glossy which prevents their skin being affected by sunlight and the short thick coat helps reflect the sun's rays. They have sweat glands and are able to withstand extreme heat. Jersey cow. They originated from the Isle of Jersey in the English Channel. With reproduction every 21 days the ovary releases a mature ovum and the cow comes on heat. The ovum travels down through the fallopian tubes to the uterus. The release and movement of the ovum down to the uterus is called ovulation. If mating is done at this time, fertilization will take place and will have a new calf in nine months time. This breed has black hard feet and strong legs and are much less prone to lameness than other breeds. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and answer your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.